Welcome back to the tub build. I guess this is the uh, third video. No, that, I mean, it's not a guess. It is, it is the third, third video. Last week we got the front suspension all done, the rear suspension all done. I was waiting on uh, some new shocks. The new shocks came in. Where are they? Ugh. All right, so there we are. Those are the ones I was using just to mock it up. Those are the ones that just came in in the mail, and they're a little bit, well, I shouldn't say a little bit, they're a lot shorter, but that makes it sit perfect. And you'll see once I get it all set up, I mocked it up earlier off camera, and uh, it looks way better. So these will save for something else, and then these will be going on. This week, we're going to get the chain all sorted out. We're going to get the brakes in the back all sorted out. We got to sort it, sort it, sort it. We got to get the brakes in the back sorted out. Um, we got to hang this axle. I made some brackets to hang the, uh, the, the bearings on. So I'm going to pull this whole rear swing arm off again and weld that up. And yes, 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 yes. What do I do with my hands? So I just filmed the whole segment about the bearings and uh, realized that my mic wasn't turned on. So I'll sum it up even quicker this time and a lot easier. These are going to be the bearing mounts. Uh, I got to weld them into place. And I was about to do that and I realized it would probably be better if I actually did it on the tub. Kind of makes sense. So I'm going to put this back on for a bit. I'm going to get the bearings hung on these and put onto the axle so I can just kind of find out where I want to put them. And then uh, we'll tack them in place, get them all square. Um, we'll find out where our lower shock mounts. We'll clear the, you know, we'll clear the, uh, the sprocket in the back too. Then we'll pull it back off the tub and back on the table to finalize all the welds and everything and then once that's done i'm gonna go and probably clean well i was thinking about cleaning this all up um but i still gotta weld brake mounts and other stuff on it so i guess i'll wait but i will pull it off for now and uh or should say put it back on so i can tack all these mounts in place so that's what i'm gonna do now this is kind of weirdly satisfying feeling you get Like I was saying, there's a weirdly satisfying feeling sliding a lot of the stuff on for the first time. And uh, you kind of know that it's never, it's never going to go on or off that easy ever again. I got the axle all mounted uh, in the bearings and the bearings mounted to the hangers. And this I can just slide kind of forward and back so I can make sure it's Kind of rack the, the right way and it's nice and perpendicular to the to where we're going and the other thing is making sure that i have the clearance with the swing arm when we come up I'm not going to trust any of this link. Yeah, definitely not straight anymore. I just want to use it for now. I want to see if I have to shim that front idler out a little bit more 
just to clear this center pipe here on the back. Oh, this thing's so messed up. This chain is totaled. All right, so. There's gonna be no way for me to tell with this. I think I gotta go in a bit. So I do, I, I gotta shim that out. Not a big deal. I got, I got tons of shaft. Don't, don't. Coolio, coolie. Oh, let's see if these shocks fit. All right, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna run this chain from the front sprocket to the uh, rear actual power sprocket. I had some clearance issues with the tub because this was never meant to have suspension. So it was never meant to come up any higher than where the chain tunnel sits on the tub itself. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is notch that chain tunnel out a little bit more and then make up for the little bit of space we're gonna lose when the suspension comes up. It's just right on the side of your butt, so. It really shouldn't matter once I get the seat put on. It's only coming up about half an inch or so. There's a little bit more space in there than I thought. Now that I got the tub away, um, and I have better access to come out of kind of my electrical box down in here, which has pieces of bearing. It's a boy. I always wanted to move the uh, fuse box to a better area. It's kind of tucked just down in underneath the motor. It's hard to get to. A lot of dirt gets up in there and everything. So instead, I'm going to pull that little box out and I'm going to put that under the seat of the tub, but I'm still going to leave the battery right there. So these two little bearing holders were never meant to have a 420. This thing originally had just a little uh, eight horsepower to come see. This bent on us last time when the chain bound up and it kind of pulled this whole unit and we fixed it. Well, I shouldn't say fixed it. We just bent it back out in the, uh, in the first episode. I'm going to box these in just with a little bit of flat stock, make some gussets for the front and back, and that should make those a little bit more, more rigid. I'm going to bend this one back a little bit. It's got a little bit of a forward tilt in it, so we'll bend that back out as well and then get the gussets welded in there. That's mint. Whatever. Yeah. Well, that kind of puts a damper on our day today. I knew I was coming close though. I want to make a chain guide for where the chain leads into the sprocket 
for when this is really banging around on the dirt track. I still have to put a chain tensioner in. I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put that. I really like the way that motocross bikes do their chain guides with a Teflon slider. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build essentially the same thing instead of buying one. I picked up a Teflon cutting board from uh, Dollar Tree or the dollar store just for a couple bucks. So I'm going to cut the sliders out of these and then I'm going to weld a metal structure to kind of guide it all. But should be a cheap DIY version. So I actually found this piece of metal in my scrap metal bin. Um, I have no idea what it is, but I do know what it's going to be. And that is going to be my new chain guide. I'm going to weld some tabs in here. And I'm going to bolt this down so it's removable so I can change the Teflon sliders out of, the, out of it when they wear out. It's, it's perfect. I don't have to do anything. I might cut that little tab off there, but it's got all the holes. It's got the right shape. Um, I just have to cut this down to size to fit inside. Uh, and I'm going to countersink these with some, uh, some big countersunk bolts to hold them down on the inside. And this whole thing's going to be removable and, and replaceable and changeable and I just puked in my mouth a bit like that. So I'll get that tacked in and then I'll uh, take this piece back off again to start cutting the sliders. Sweet. I like it. All right, I got my two pieces of Teflon just roughly cut, and they're gonna sit with that in there, and that'll be my my chain guide. So it should work out pretty good. There's enough. Well, I just gotta do a little bit of shaping to them to make them fit a little bit better, but I think it's gonna work. I got the chain guide built, so I got my Teflon strips in the center, and they're just bolted in with some big countersunk uh, Phillips machine screws. That should just mount like that. Cool. I got the brake laid out where I want to put it here. Well, I got the old disc. I think I might move to the larger, the larger disc. I still have to make a hub for it, but it all it needs is a, just a small little bracket directly off that center tube up to there, and that's fine. That'll work, and I'll just get it where I want it, pinch it off, weld it in place with it all locked up, and uh, that should be it. Didn't think that one through. Dang. Ran into a little bit of a clearance issue. Right here. But I think what I might do, maybe just shim it out with some washers or something. It's, uh, it's pretty close. I mean, it's like an eighth of an inch to sixteenth of an inch close. So if I get like, I don't know, a quarter inch of something in there, a little bit of space. 
should be fine. I got lots of space to move the desk over, so that's not a problem. I can, I can bring this whole, whole unit over a bit. I mean, I could just flip it. Uh, hmm. Oh, man. So close. So close. All right, we're fixing it. All I did was, I lost my piece already. I have a little standoff cut and I'm just gonna place that in right about there and then weld my brake uh, break bracket on top of that. Good intact. Something like that. I decided to swap out the old disc rotor with a much larger, I wouldn't say much larger, but a fair amount, a fair amount bigger. It should give me a little bit more stopping force behind that thing. I have a hub for this. I do not have a hub for this. All I really need to do is press a one inch weld on hub into that bore there and then weld it up and it should work fine. It's pretty close. I might have to machine the inner hub down just a bit to fit inside, but it shouldn't be too bad. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Out with the old, in with the new. A little bit of size difference. I'm done, done for now. Oh yeah. You know what? I'm done for this video. Uh, I did. It doesn't feel like I got a lot done, but I had to go back through some stuff. It's waiting on parts. There was just a lot of repetitive work 
getting the swing arm on and off and on and off during the fitment and everything really took a lot of time. And that's about it. We should be able to get this thing just back together. It's it's almost there. I think I'm promising too much with that. A few little things that I got to deal with. I still have to rewire the whole thing and run all the new wiring under the seat for the fuse box, get the battery put back in. The new shocks for the front came in. I've yet to put them on. They're in the house. It's like 12 o'clock, so I should probably go to sleep. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and go build your own stupid thing. Ah, fuck. Gotta pee, gotta pee, gotta pee. It doesn't feel like I lost. <laughs> feel like I got locked. Blah, blah, blah. Feel like I got. <sighs> this whole video was a blooper reel. I feel like I'm stuck now.